हेलो फ्रेंड दिस इज बिना फ्रॉम आई वॉज इंटरव्यू टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट एक्सकोड इंस्ट्रूमेंट दिस इज वेरी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इंटरव्यू टॉपिक इन आई वॉज इंटरव्यू सो मूवी फर्दर ऑन द वीडियो इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल टिल नाउ दैन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन तो फ्रेंड्स द लाइट दैट बर्नस ट्वाइस एज ब्राइट बर्नस हाफ एज लॉन्ग दिस इज गुड बाई स्टीव जॉब्स Topics we will cover on this video are introduction, leaks, instrument, allocations, instrument, zombies, instrument, using instruments to find memory leaks, best practices and conclusion. Introduction. Xcode instruments is a powerful tool provided by Apple as part of the Xcode development environment. it's used for performance analysis and debugging and it's particularly useful for identifying memory leaks and memory management issues in your iOS and macOS applications the most relevant instruments for detecting memory leaks are number 1 leak instrument the primary use identifying memory leaks how it works it monitors your apps memory allocation and tracks references to objects it detects objects that are no longer in use but have not been properly deallocated because they are still being referenced hence causing a memory leak you said run your app with the leak instrument interact with your app to exercise the functionality and the instrument will report objects that are potential memory leaks number 2 allocations instrument primary use understanding and analyzing analyzing your apps memory usage how it works it provides detailed information about object allocation including class information size and allocation frequency and memory usage patterns over time usage you can use it to detect areas in your app where memory usage is unexpectedly high which could indicate a memory leak number 3 zombies instrument primary use debugging use after free errors how it works it helps identify instances where your app might be trying to access objects that have already been released usage it's particularly useful for detecting and debugging subtle memory management bugs that might not necessarily cause a crash but can lead to corrupted data or other erratic behaviors using instruments to find memory leaks choose your instrument star a profiling session in xcode and select the leak instrument or allocations zombies depending on your needs run your app run your app with the selected selected instrument it's best to perform typical user interactions to trigger the usual memory usage patterns of your app analyze the data as you interact with the app instruments collects and displays memory allocation and reference data in real time look for increasing memory usage that doesn't decrease or objects that are allocated but never deallocated identify leaks the leaks instrument will flag objects that it suspects are leaks you can then examine the stack trace for each leak to determine where the leaked object was allocated and why it might not be released drill down into details for more insight use the allocations instrument to explore memory allocation in more detail including the history of specific objects 
fix issues. Once you have identified the leaks, you go back to your code to resolve the issues. This might involve fixing return cycles, ensuring objects are released correctly or other memory management adjustments. Best practice. Regularly use instruments during the development process, not just when encountering issues. Be aware of common causes of memory leaks in Swift and Objective-C such as return cycles, especially with closures and delegates. Use automatic reference counting ARC effectively understanding its rules and how to manage references. Conclusion In summary, Xcode Instruments is an essential tool for any iOS or macOS developer helping to ensure applications are efficient, leak-free and performant. Regularly profiling your app with instruments can greatly improve its quality and reliability. So friends, thank you for watching this video. If you like, then please like, share and subscribe for getting informative videos related iOS interviews. Thank you.